All right, so it's come time to test the uh, speed and uh, crawling capabilities of the WPLD12. You might notice we're using the white one today because uh, I might have made small mischief with the other one. So this is sort of the only one that we have left at the moment. Which is good, that it's good that I bought two, because now we can still display uh, all the capabilities of anyone interested in the D12 in its stock form. I've made some small uh, adjustments to the other one to maybe perhaps make it a little bit more powerful, uh, which you'll see in the next video. But this one is completely stock. It's in its stock form. I haven't even installed the mirrors, obviously, because I'm interested in uh, the speed and rock, rock rock climbing capabilities of it as it says on the on the packet so i think the best thing we can do is make it as light as possible so i've left the wing mirrors off i've left off the box so there's no box on the side boxes weigh lots so we're going to leave that off i just want to show you how it works in its stock form so you can agree with me later when you see my video of the more powerful improved version uh because I'm assuming, and I bear in mind, I haven't actually used it apart from the small drive around on the table last time. I haven't actually used it, so. But I'm just assuming that its top speed is approximately like. But, I mean, it doesn't look like a speed demon to me. So, we're just gonna go and test test out some of the capabilities that are advertised and make sure that it can actually perform as a drift car, a rock climber, and a Mars Rover, like it says on the packet, basically. So we'll uh, we'll go and try that out if you just wanna come with me and we'll go have a look, all right? I'm just gonna get my remotes. See, I have two remotes here, one of which is void for the other one. As you'll see, it's not actually going to be useful the other one the other one has no this one has no batteries in it which leads me to believe that perhaps this is the one for the white car so I'll take the Anko double A's out of this one and I'll use them in the remote for this one which I'm assuming powers the white vehicle the silver one bear in mind is uh, he's um, not really sure what to say too much about the, the silver one. He's uh, he's on holiday. He might have been he might have been uh, he might have been fiddled with quite inappropriately, mind you. So we'll see we'll see the aftermath in the next video of my fiddling. And uh, but for this video, this one is is fresh. It's still got its pip. Everything's fine. It's. Uh, it's just as it was when it arrived in the box. I haven't touched it, so this should be a great demonstration of. Uh... It's even got window wipers. Look, you can wipe off the rain, and they can come back down too. So that's good. We can keep in mind that we can drive this in adverse weather conditions. So that's good. Obviously, uh, that will add to its drifting capabilities. Rock climbing, I'm not sure whether this will help the rock climbing, the windscreen wipers. But, uh, you know. It actually doesn't have a gear knob, it just has like a... I'm not even going to bother showing you because you won't see on the camera, but it just has like a little stick. A stick for the gears, I'll show you, actually. Change of plans here. You can see the gear stick there is uh, basically null and void. I'm going to take this outside to give you guys a great demonstration of just how well it can perform all of the tasks which are written on the package. Actually, I'm going to need a battery. So I've got this Z Lipo Guard. Z Lipo Guard shall protect me from any fires. Now, bear in mind. These have different plugs. One of them is for the old, the, the silver 
the silver car, which is now, again, it's the silver car is not really going to need any of this anymore after what I've after what I've done to it, the poor thing. Uh, yeah. I've broken it already, as you can see. How do they even? What is? What? Why do they do it like this? Create more room. There we go. Yes. Yes. Speed. Okay. You guys are witnessing maximum speed here. Maximum speed of the of the drift mobile. Off-road rock climbing. Uh, rock climbing, please. Just hop off, hop off the grass for me, then. You should have no problem. Maybe it needs a little boost on the grass. Yes. Rock climbing capable it definitely will be. Yes. Speed. Obviously it has more than enough horsepower for drifting and rock climbing. Come back to me. Ha <laughs> you have headlights and no driver. We shall test the rock climbing capabilities. Just bear with me. Just as well I have access to rocks here. Rock climbing is obviously no match for the WPL D12, which I will demonstrate just now. Ha <laughs> ha! Out. Come on. I read the packet. This should be no match for you. Climb! Climb! Uh, what has happened here? What manner of thing? Back. Back. Obviously the rock climbing has had an effect on my WPL. Rock climbing begins now. Come on! Yeah. Rock climbing is happening! Come on! Come on! I think the power might be the problem here. Or the lack of power. We shall test the power here. Yeah. Take off! Come on! Rubbish! Yeah! Speed! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Drifting... Not exactly completely competent at drifting. Speed. Oh yes, speed. Travel on dirt, speed and drift. Yes. Take over the plants. Oh Capable vehicle. No problem. Uh, we're going to delete that bit. Yeah. Off-road is no problem. Rock climbing may be a small prop. Anything may be a small problem. Yeah, speed and rock climbing. No match for the WPL D12. Wait till you see my revised version of. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I've pretty much decided that this is no good in standard form. 